Hi, my name's Danielle and I live in Bilan. <clears throat> it's Sunday and as a mitigay, cute brunch is mandatory. Breakfast and lunch are for poor people who live in vetting. This is Meta. We do brunch. I purposely don't drink on Saturday when you're the first to arrive at cute brunch Sunday morning and all your friends are hung over and you're fresh as a daisy. It makes them feel insecure. Like you have your life together and they're a bunch of drunk fuck ups. Because as a mitigay, you always want to make sure you have the upper hand. It's all about holding court. When you're a mitigay, a cute brunch isn't about having a meal. It's about psychological warfare. Who's fucking who? Who's traveling where? Who did which drug with who? And who's getting Botox? Because even though we all get Botox, it doesn't stop us from judging each other. A cute brunch isn't about connecting with your friends. It's about holding holding them accountable and judging them for their life choices. When you're a mitigay, judgment is a form of endearment. If I didn't care about you, I wouldn't judge you. I would just ignore you the way I do with women and straight people and the poor. Gossip, shade, innuendo, and mimosas. And if you don't do brunch as a mitigay, yes, we're talking about you behind your back. Cause when you don't do brunch, brunch does you. And if you think we're not paying attention to how many carbs you're eating, you're out of your fucking mind. Did you see Johan Schroep last Sunday at Cute Brunch? He ate brioche French toast. White bread brioche. That was easily like 40 grams of carbs. Are you crazy? Are you kidding me? Johan, 40 grams of carbs. I'm not judging, I'm just observing. I'm not gossiping, I'm just discussing. It's what we do at the Gay Mint Acute Brunch. <laughs> I love a garden, don't you? I'm totally gonna fuck those waiters.